Hey everybody, well as the little graphic here says, I went to Ollie's. I've been seeing a lot of videos on YouTube talking about how Hasbro, Wizards of the Coast, D&D, has made some transactions with Ollie's and Ollie's is selling some D&D stuff, apparently dirt cheap. And I wanted to go check this out. And so I went online and the closest to Ollie's to me is two hours away in Iowa City. Luckily for me, I could not, well, unfortunately for me, I could not justify going that far just to go to one store um, and not be sure that they would have what was being shown online. And so fortunately for me, my daughter lives three hours away and it puts me within three miles of that always. And so today, after celebrating Christmas with my family, I was driving home and I stopped at the Ollie's in Iowa City. And it was interesting, to say the least. And so, stopped by and not, I would say probably 15 feet away from the front door, was this. This is the infamous cart with all the D&D &D stuff in it. Now you can see that it's been picked through pretty good. I bet they had that completely full. Um, you can see a lot of the current game on there. Um, and then on the top two shelves, there were a lot of the 1980s cartoon based action figures. And then in the back, there were some of the campaign place um, terrain cases. And so I took the picture and then I grabbed a couple of the um, campaign terrain cases. I bought two of them and they were selling these at $2.99 but because this is considered a toy I got an additional 20% off um, because when you look at the back of it it shows that you're getting some interesting stuff and terrain can go to any game and so I got two of these and I think it was pretty worthwhile. Um, the case is solid. It is heavy. This whole box is quite heavy. And so I figured it was a good purchase. And so when I got home, I opened it up and I went through it. And I could kind of see why it didn't sell. Because it's a lot of packaging and not as much product and I heard that these were quite expensive. Um, I did not get any of the current battle game because I looked at it and I'm hearing that before it sold for $100 and I could have bought it for eight bucks um, there. It didn't impress me much. And so I passed on that. I do not do action figures and I especially will not do any of these action figures. Um, Hasbro has went away from the clear plastic uh, covering. So you cannot see what this action figure looks like. There's a picture of it, but you can't see all the little details on these uh, figures. I've also seen some reviews where these things are pretty crappy. The quality is not there anymore. Uh, one review, uh, um, the creator um, bought 
Hank, he bought all three. He, I think he got them all pre-ordered and all that. He put out Hank, which is the Ranger, and he moved the hand just a little bit so he could get the weapon in, and it broke off. He only moved the hand once, and it broke off. And so I was not going to spend any money on those action figures. And those were selling for $10 each. And I think that that was overpriced. This is, and the quality issue is probably why it was at Ollie's. I don't think that this is a sign that Hasbro's in economic trouble. Like what some uh, YouTube creators are saying. All companies go through this. There is sometimes products that you make that just don't sell. And I think that these are kind of crappy product. Hasbro, Watsy might be in better shape than what we're giving them credit for. Um, but their quality has went down the shitter. So, what did I get? Well... The carrying case for all this, it's solid. It is a very heavy carrying case. It's worth having. And, you know, if you do what I did, and I bought multiple, you can combine all these into one carrying case, probably. And you're good. Um, so, let me... So, there are... A lot of these jigsaw puzzles pieces these are tiles so they have an interior and exterior design they're two-sided okay and so you can put these together and put them on the table and you can use them for your game while you're campaigning and I like them um, because with these, I can get out my four, I got a three and a half foot by eight foot table that I role play on. And so the guys and I, we can really set up a pretty good table considering we got two stacks of the, like this. And that makes, um, campaigning good. And then they have the big Oops, come on there we go two-sided board here game board so we can put these and these together and remember I, I got two of these and so when I do an adventure I can really have a great gaming board and this is just cardboard the, none of these things are the big you know plaster and all plaster resin and all that shit um then they got this nice little folder all that they put some detail to it it does look nice and inside of it they have <coughs> Excuse me. Artwork. These are peel off icons for the board. Now, I think so, most of the artwork on this is pretty good. Uh, the thing that I do not like about them is that they're plastic peel outs. And so, plastic these plastic peel outs if you keep them clean and you're very good and careful with them um, these stuck to the cardboard pieces so then you can lay them down and you got they're secure you don't have to worry about them moving little here little there and all that which is good for the game but if they get too used up too dirty and all that and they do have a tendency to roll up and all that they become useless to me 
And so, like I said, these are nice because the trees and all that. So, I got cardstock. I am going to take these, peel them to the cardstock, glue them in there so that they're solid. And thus, I can reuse them countless times and not have to worry about them starting to roll with age and getting dirty. And that's all you're getting with these. And so I forget what the original price on these were, but for $2.99, and this is a bargain, I probably should have bought more if I could have. But I got the last two, so I am pretty happy about that. Um, Watsy has Hasbro's not getting any of this money. All these is. This was a closeout, so it's not like any of this is going to be filtered back to... Uh, Watsy, so hey, that part don't bother me. Um, this is a good product, and so if you have a chance to get to an Ollie's and maybe pick up one or the two of these um, campaign carrying cases, you know, for the train, do it. Get them. Um, like I said, train can be used on all role playing games. And so why not have it and then you know you buy a couple of them and you can have those large play mat assembled so I went to you know, all these it wasn't as bad as everybody was saying um, a couple of these things you might be able to use some of them you're not going to be able to use so, I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Take care. Be at peace.